Check this out, everybody. I'm just hitting the button here. We have a vehicle that starts and runs. I'm not touching the brake pedal switch, or should I say the brake pedal. Very interesting there. That's a dangerous situation, Mr. Chrysler. What's going on, everybody? Brian Mann here, hands-on auto training. We got ourselves a 2022 uh, Chrysler Pacifica. Interesting one, possibly. I don't even know yet. Uh, guys, I was just taking it along for an adventure here. I've been recording a lot of uh, programming videos and stuff going right to the membership site. So if you're a member of the uh, core premium, go check those out. But let's see what we got here. Why I arrived on site, uh, this vehicle here, uh, had the uh, bypass cable for the secure gateway module. So the secure gateway module lives back here. This is just a, a secure gateway bypass module. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. I wanna go ahead and get a fresh start on this thing because I don't know uh, what all is going on. So we're gonna plug in this secure gateway module and then we're gonna do a code scan. All right, so we got that module plugged back in there and we're gonna go ahead and plug in our micropod and get a session of Y-Tech going here. As we're starting a session of YTech, I don't even know what the customer's complaint is. Um, we're going to see what happens here if we just try and start this thing up. We do have ourselves a runner. Look at a big screen TV we have over here. Um, let's see what lights we have. We have some forward collision avoidance off. We have an ABS light. Um, parking brake light, I believe that's because the park brake's on. Yeah, we got to start with a full D vehicle DTC scan, but as you see, we got anti-lock brake system code. So that's probably what we're going to be looking at to get started here. And you see our YTEC session did open up. 10 DTCs going on, it looks like. So let's go ahead and do a complete, complete vehicle DTC scan, vehicle scan report, create PDF. And we're going to go ahead and print the PDF here. And I think the easiest thing is to go back to YTEC. We'll just go right up to the top here, click on that, click on over here, all DTCs. Let's see what we have. Brake pedal position, missing calibration. Tire diameter invalid. ABS, original VIN mismatch missing. Vehicle configuration mismatch. ECU and plant mode. I think somebody may have put an ABS module in here. This is an auction car, so uh, when you get these type of situations, you just don't know what you're going to have going on. So uh, let's go ahead. Uh-oh, lost our connection with the cloud. There it goes. Let's take a look here and see if we can get this thing uh, to a point where we can do the ABS initialization. I'll be the first one who, to tell you I have not done a 2022 yet, but I'm just going to click around here and see what I can come up with. Miscellaneous functions, and there should be like a service procedure, ABS initialization right there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this. Uh, we got to turn the engine off. So we're turning the key, key on, engine off. Oops. Oh, guys, check this out. Wow, check this out, everybody. I'm just hitting the button here. We have a vehicle that starts and runs. I'm not touching the brake pedal switch or should I say the brake pedal. Very interesting there. That's a dangerous situation, Mr. Chrysler. So I just want to, oh, I can't turn the key on. What the heck? I can't turn the key on without having a vehicle start. Wow. I want to do this procedure here, ensure the we have our key on in the run position. Well, let's go ahead and cancel this out and see what we have here. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's up. I'm going to go over here and we're going to go to let's see if there's a brake pedal calibration let's do this because this vehicle should not start and run like that that just should not happen this will calibrate the brake pedal position sensor do not press the brake pedal okay and like I said this is an auction car I have absolutely no clue what's going on so this passed we got a pass situation here. Let's go ahead and hit the close button. As you see, this thing's kind of lit up a bit funny here, right? Let's see, Let's see what we have now. Okay, it doesn't start now, that's good. Now we're gonna go back and get into our ABS initialization. Let's go ahead and do this. Engine run with the engine 
propulsion off. Yep. Oh, steering wheel straight ahead. We're a little bit off there, guys. I might have to redo that. I'm probably going to redo that or redo the uh, steering angle. Wheels are kind of straight, but the uh, steering wheel is definitely not straight ahead. We'll hit the continue button. I will definitely rerun that because sensor cluster calibration. I believe that's going to be like all your longitudinal sensor, yaw rate sensor, all that stuff. See how the lights on the dash are going haywire here. And we'll hit the continue button. Sensor calibration is complete. We'll hit the continue. Okay, so I'm going to redo that ABS initialization because I don't like the fact at all that I didn't have the steering wheel in the straight ahead position. Now we've got the wheel straight ahead. I feel good about that. We'll hit continue. Oh, check that out. It recalibrates the brake pedal position sensor as it's uh, doing the function there. Press continue. Check. And we'll hit continue. We still have all the lights blinking all over there. And what am I doing wrong, guys? Tell you what, I don't have my battery maintainer on here right now. I don't like that. My battery maintainer is over there on the other side of the shop on another vehicle. Okay, we're complete. Cycle ignition and press continue. So we're going to go ahead and cycle the ignition. Back to run. Continue. Exiting plant mode. This is good. Continue. Checking plant mode. This is all new to me. I have not done a 2022 yet. We'll hit the close button. Now I think we should go back here and see what codes we have. It looks like a lot of messages went away on the dash. We don't have that uh, uh, flashing ABS message and also uh, some of our ADS stuff has went away. So I'm going to go over here to all DTCs. And I think we have a lot of stored ones, so I think we have to not activate. Electronic brake, park brake module not activated. Hmm. I'm going to clear all the codes, and I might have to do some research on this electronic brake park module not activated. See what codes come back. Sometimes on Chrysler's, I've had them where you clear codes, and then the codes go away, to, even though they're active, they aren't. So we'll let this repopulate, and then we'll do a good old-fashioned uh, key off for a second. Ytech's been funny for me lately. I've been getting the gray screen. You know, it's like almost like the connection's gone. So look at this. We've got a clean bill of health. The screen is all blue. That's good. I am going to go ahead and turn off the key. Let this thing sit for a second and uh, do what I always tell you guys we should do first, my uh, visual inspection. I'm kind of taking a look. This is a 2022, so taking a look to see if I got anything going on here. It looks obvious for a hit. Because a lot of times if a car is an auction car, there's a reason why it's an auction car, if you know what I mean. Uh, this looks a little off here. That seam in one way looked a little off. Oh, telephone. All right, I got interrupted by a phone call, but I'm going to go ahead and see uh, after this thing's been sitting for a minute. Everything just went to sleep. Turn the key to the run position. I can do that now. As you see, it didn't start. We have to hit our foot to the brake to uh, get it to start. That's good. And let's take a look at our scan report here. This thing might be happy now. Nothing showing up yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on one more time. And this thing's looking good. Um, let's go back over here. I'm going to do a post scan report. Vehicle scan report. Create PDF. And just taking a look here, nothing's popping, looks good. Um, what's this come up here? HVAC doesn't know the VIN number of the HVAC control module, that's interesting. And let's take a look at our ABS. There's our serial number. Let's take a look at the ABS control module VIN number. Doesn't show original VIN, current VIN. I think what I'm going to do right now 
is I'm going to exit out of the Y-Tech all the way. I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing down. Exit out. Disconnect. Actually, turn the key off. Disconnect the micropod. Plug it back in. Turn the key back to the run position. And we're going to relaunch our Y-Tech 2.0. You know, sometimes when you're dealing with these auction cars, you have no idea what's happening. Um, I don't know why the ABS module was apparently replaced. I'm assuming it was a, a, a brand new one because the VIN number didn't populate. So right now, we uh, I turned the vehicle off. I unplugged the micropod. I plugged the micropod back in so we can see uh, what happens here. I'm curious if, if we have a uh, code coming back, or any codes coming back, and if we see the VIN numbers populated in the uh, ABS control module. It's really interesting that sometimes, you know, even though you start a new session or should, you start a session with the ABS module not having a VIN in it and it never updates the scan tool. Like you'll never have that updated. So now we're going to do our post scan report once again. Vehicle scan report, create PDF, and we're going to scroll down and see if our ABS control module has a VIN number in it that's proper. Oh boy, yes we do. All right. Good deal. Quick, easy one. You guys take it easy. Uh, I hope everybody's having a happy new year. Uh, here we go, 2023. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.